like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number five says, where to find, we've got a big fraction here. We've got fractions and fraction. X squared minus nine divided by X plus two. The, all of that divided by X minus three over X minus two. So let's go ahead and write the entire problem out. Uh, we've got a big fraction. So this whole fraction, this rational expression, it's going to be the numerator and the denominator also consists of a rational expression, or like a big fraction. And essentially what they're asking us to do is to simplify this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this division problem as a multiplication problem, okay? Also, I'm gonna be thinking about rewriting x squared minus nine. So I, over here to the side here, I'm gonna write x squared minus nine and you might notice that this is a difference between two squares. And so the way that we factor a difference of two squares, we did this back on problem two, I think. Uh, we're going to write this as x plus three times x minus three. Okay, and this is gonna be helpful later for when we simplify everything. So I'm actually going to change that x squared minus nine 2x plus 3 times x minus 3. The reason why I'm going to do that is it's going to, it's going to help me when things start, uh, it's going to help me to cancel things out once I rewrite this. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, I want to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Whenever you're dividing two fractions, so let's say we just have, um, and I'll show you this over here to the side, a over b divided by c over b, d, um, so you're basically just dividing two fractions. That'll be equivalent to multiplying A over B by the reciprocal of the denominator. And that's just how division is defined. So I'm going to rewrite this expression as this, this whole numerator, okay, times the denominator. But not just the denominator, but the reciprocal of the denominator. And I'm kind of running into my scratch work over to the side. So I'm going to bring this over. Um, and so this is going to be x minus 2 on top, x minus 3 on the bottom. So now you might notice that I have three binomials being multiplied in the numerator and two in the denominator. Let me go ahead and just collapse these into one fraction to make it just a little bit more obvious what's going to happen here. So when you multiply two fractions, you simply multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. So I've got x plus 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 2 all over x plus 2 times x minus 3. Now anytime you divide something by itself, as long as it's defined at that value, it will equal 1, and that allows us to essentially cancel out some of these terms. So notice how I've got x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is going to be 1 everywhere where it is defined, and that only leaves us with these three binomials. So really my final answer here is going to be um, x plus 3 times x minus 2 all over x plus 2. You might notice that in the uh, answer choices here in the multiple choice, it has the x minus 2 first, and that's okay. Multiplication is what we um, uh, uh, call commutative, meaning that the order of multiplication doesn't matter. In other words, like 2 times 3 is equivalent to uh, 3 times 2. So our correct answer here is going to be B. And that's it for number 5. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.